There's a little pig house right here, right? And then you have the roadway that comes in. And this is the PH, the pig house. And so they have their little area right now there. And then there's sort of a break in the garden. And up here we have garden beds and garlic. But this area is the area that's gotten re-overgrown. Down here we have garden beds as well. There's like apple trees. So what I'm proposing is like we, we're always going to want to access up into this area. So I think we need a roadway still to be maintained right here. And then for today, why don't we just bisect this area? And so we'll be this will be the new. And then we'll let this grow for another month and uh, do this in like a month. Uh -huh. But I think halfway across that little experience right here will be enough for today. All right. Cool. Let's see if we can do it this afternoon. So yeah, today we got to put on the another electric fence. And we've got these insulators. You see these insulators? That little um, black pipe is what we're going to try to make insulators out of. Because we don't have any more of these yellow ones these old school yellow ones they're sort of nice for um you can wind the wire around them and loosen and tighten them as needed but these little black improvised ones we're gonna have to screw right on there all right so working on some fencing to keep the pigs in so what we need to do is expand their fence so they can get on some fresh dirt this is sort of gross we have that space over there that the pigs have been in before, but we need to reestablish the fence line. So that's the project for today. Well, these pigs are going to be so happy. They really are. Joyful pigs. Pig fence expansion day. Sometimes what I do is like encourage one of them to cross the line, but I don't think these guys are going to need that much encouragement. I mean, they're really starting to see that grass there, and they realize that electric's gone. Sometimes it's nice to go in there and sort of lure one, and then grab it, and take it out in the middle, where he'd just start eating, and then the other ones might see him and be like, oh, I should join him. But they're so domesticated that they really don't want to cross the fence. I can hear it shorten out though a little bit. You know where it's tight down here, where it got tightened on the bottom? Onto that grass? Yeah. So you probably always want to pull that back just to eliminate some of the sh shorten right off the bat. Um, turn it off. I don't know if you even need to turn it off. Just more or less. Grabbing that grass out of the way? Yeah, well, you, I, you'd be surprised. If you go between the clicks, because I think too it's onto that um, that metal. You see where the wires onto the metal? That's where it's really clicking. If you touch that chicken wire right now, you probably get zapped. So you're just timing it in between the clicks. It's intermittent, right? See what I mean? Yep. So as long as you don't uh, touch the fence when it's lot when that zapping noise. As far as the whole fence is concerned, it is that zapper right there. That hooks into your power from your house system and then it goes to a ground on one side and then to the wire on the other, the hot wire. And the hot wire just needs to be just suspended and prevented from coming in contact with the ground, so to speak. So it's elevated on these insulators. That little protrusion right there is going to catch somebody for sure. Ow! So I don't know, do you want to lure one of them out into the field? I got a little weight on them. What do you think? Oh, look at all the grass. Oh, this is great. Oh, Come on out, guys. Domestication is a horrible thing to break. You can do it. It's like they'll they'll push each other over. 
One of them will get real near the edge and the other ones will push him. He's like, I don't really know if I want to go back there with you guys. It's one of them just laying down on the ground there. Oh, he's going back. I think they'll get it over a couple days here. Hopefully.